Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how I have decorated these picture frames. This is going to be a Dollar Tree DIY. Some of these things are not from the Dollar Tree, but the prices are comparable. So let's go ahead and get started and I'm going to show you my very first picture frame. So this one is black from the Dollar Tree 5x7 and I wanted it white. It did take about 5 or 6 coats, maybe it was a spray paint type I was using, um, but it took about about two to three hours for the five or six coats because it only took about 10 minutes for each coat to dry so that is the first step there and then i am actually taking wrapping paper so this plaid wrapping paper is from the michael's dollar bin so the dollar 50 bin and basically i just cut it out to fit the picture frame and i am attaching this cute little guy right here and he is from the target dollar spot with some hot glue and that's it I'm moving on to a bigger picture frame. So all of these are from the Dollar Tree. And this black one was gorgeous. It came with a mat. I've never really seen anything this nice at the Dollar Tree before, and it was the only one I could find. So I hope you guys find it, and it has this little car picture in it. Ironically, I wanted to put a car picture, and this is a gift bag from Target Dollar Spot, I believe, no. No, that one is from Dollar Tree. So all I'm doing is cutting it down to size, and I always keep the actual picture that came in the picture frame. I don't know why, but I just always keep it, and I put it back in. So I'm just gonna stack this into my picture, and then voila, that's done. Just a gift bag, cut it up, put it in your picture frame, and you're done. So the next one really isn't so much Dollar Tree. The only thing that is Dollar Tree in this specific picture frame is actually the picture frame itself, which came gold, which I love because I was gonna have to spray paint gold, um, but they actually had some gold ones. And so I went with five by seven picture frame because these little guys, these little woodland creatures were really big, so they would only fit in a five by seven. So I'm actually just gonna use some scrapbook paper. So I bought this booklet at Hobby Lobby. It's like a Christmas paper collection. And I just picked out the scrapbooks that I love the most. I did want some different variations, so I picked a plaid and a polka dot. And if you're wondering where these woodland creatures came from, my mom actually sent them to me and I believe she got them at Target. I think they might have been in the $5 range, I'm not really sure. But even though they look a little fall, they're still woodland creatures and that's how I decorate for Christmas, so they just kind of fit right in. And as you can see, I stacked my scrapbook piece of paper first, and then I put the glass behind it. And that's it. It's gonna be the same concept as the first picture frame where I'm just gonna use a little dab of hot glue, and that's it, you guys. A picture frame doesn't have to be flat. You can add anything to the outside of the surface like I'm doing here. I've done this before too with some floral. That was amazing. I really loved that one so much. And that is it for this picture frame.